Hi and welcome to my 12th tutorial on HTML. We have recently looked at external links to other web pages and internal links linking your own web pages together. Now I thought it would be appropriate to look at how we make links on the same page. Sometimes you write a lot of text and instead of having your audience browse through the page to find what they think is interesting, you might want to help them along by making a table of contents at the top of your document linking to specific topics of interest and occasionally a link so they can get back to the top again. We still use the A tag as an anchor but when we specify the anchor we are going to use two methods. We are going to use the name attribute and the ID attribute. Now the name attribute is the old way but the upcoming HTML5 standard suggests using the ID attribute instead of the name attribute and the ID attribute also works for HTML4 in all modern browsers. I picked security tools as our topic and I copied and pasted information about six different programs from uh, Wikipedia and uh, on our HTML page it looks like this for the moment. And all that's actually done right now is uh, that the information is put in uh, paragraph tags. In our earlier tutorials, we might not have closed our paragraph tags, but start getting into the habit of doing that because uh, in XHTML and uh, HTML5, I believe that is required. Now, Wireshark is our first security tool, so we want our table of contents to start with that program. And we use the A tag with the attribute href equals quotation and now we want the hash sign or the number sign and Wireshark we close the bracket and we write Wireshark once more and then we close the A tag like that. Now this Wireshark is uh, part of our uh, code and this is the Wireshark that's going to show on the HTML page. Now in a table of contents this is what we click and then we want to get somewhere and let's do that. The A tag again and now the name attribute equals quotation mark Wireshark quotation mark we close the bracket, Wireshark, and then we close the A tag, like that. And then we close the paragraph tag. So the only difference here is that we have the hash sign in the table of contents. I don't know if you have noticed, but uh, we need a uh, quotation mark here at the end of uh, Wireshark in our code. Now our next security tool is Snort and it's going to be the same procedure. The only difference is that instead of the name attribute we are going to use the ID attribute. Bracket the A tag href equals and remember the hash sign Snort quotation mark and then we end the bracket and our audience is going to see snort like this and then we end the a tag like that and when we click on snort we want to end up where we have the information about snort paragraph and then again the a tag this time with the id attribute equals snort and snort we close the A tag and the paragraph tag like that. Let's save it and let's take a look at our HTML document F5 and we see we have Wireshark and Snort in our table of contents and if we click on Snort Snort comes up at the top I have now added the code for the rest of the programs. 
and it's identical to what we have already done and in our HTML document it will look like this but we can still make this into an uh, unordered list and since we have already covered lists in earlier tutorials I have already done it so we don't have to use time on it but uh, there's one thing that I want to mention and that is that uh, with today's standards we want to close the list tag which we didn't have to do before now there's one thing we're still missing and that is after we click on our last link on our contents list TCP dump we get to the bottom of our document but this document could be a lot longer than it is and what would be nice to have is a link bringing us back to the top again so let's do that let's go to the bottom of our document and um, as you can see here we have inside our code here we have TCP dump and this is what the audience sees but it doesn't have to be the same so here we are going to have the a tag and uh, this is what we're going to click on so here we want the hash sign content and we'll let the audience see back to top and then we close the a tag again like that and then we go to the top of our document and above our table of contents here we can put ID equals contents and then contents again like that we'll uh, save it and uh, when we now click F5 we have our table of contents TCP dump and now back to top and that covers creating bookmarks and table of contents now just one last thing before we finish off if uh, we wanted for example snort here to be a uh, header 2 like security tools we could nest this into a h2 tag but what we can also do is actually just take away the a and replace it with h2 and the same thing here h2 so we can actually have h2 id equals and we can save this and on snort here we get the header 2 and our link is still going to work and that's it for this time hope you got something out of it